Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And today we are going to play with a Škoda T50. It is tier 9 Czechoslovakia and medium tank. And oh boy, oh boy, this tank is naughty. This tank is able to do pretty much 900... Uh, 60 damage in three seconds or so 3.6 seconds right it is in my opinion this is one of the biggest potential having tanks if you are playing smart and obviously if you are picking your targets uh, um, in a good way right because first of all you do not need to expose yourself for a long time by any shape or any form which is absolutely amazing and it is absolutely great after that once again just ability to burst uh, fire so quickly is so bloody awesome right it is definitely worth to highlight it and overall the mobility and other features of the tank is very 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 solid now Unfortunately, we cannot eliminate those gates, right? Unfortunate, but that's the case. So all heavy tanks manage to cross without bigger problems whatsoever, which is kind of sad, but oh well, what can you do, right? Not everyone is playing the same way. Meanwhile, my goal is to wait until this Panzer Schmutz will try to peek like this because there is a humongous chance this guy will think about relocating and if he would then we can spank him like there is no tomorrow i really like this um flexibility of this position that you can shoot through the hole in the gate and you can spank the living crap out of everyone and the thing is for you to shoot uh, for enemies to shoot you back how the things are looking like enemies must uh, either hit gates so then position is gg finito or alternatively they can shoot through the same hole but it happens very 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 rarely that enemies are actually able to hit you back so that is amazing and that is ideal hmm okay do i want to trade with the schmutz I think I should be able to, huh? I would take one for the team, but I have a feeling that I can simply clip him out. So you know what? This uh, this is what I would call a smart trades, right? That's what I would call a smart trades. I don't feel I don't feel bad by any shape or any form doing this. Oh my bananas! Rever side scrapping schmutz. I mean, it's not that uh, it works properly. You know, it doesn't. But the most important part of all this is making himself of the smaller target. That is, that is the best part of all of this. Anyways, STB, there is a big chance STB will try to get involved. And if this STB will cross through the middle of the field here, we are going to have a blast and we are going to enjoy ourselves. But at this point, we need to wait. And you know, even waiting is kind of a dangerous game in this kind of situation. The main reason being is because I really doubt this S1 is going to outspot this STB making a hardcore pressure. I really doubt it is going to be the case. Okay, hear me out. I'm going to relocate from here. I think the time has come for us to run away for our lives scorpion in the back i can't see him luckily for us he cannot see us beautiful and now we are going to clip the living crap out of him pay attention pay attention at this position right i can see oh if someone would go like this through the open field or at least i should be able to see the scorpion g trying to cross this way come on scorpion g be brave be brave scorpion g just go for it no, unfortunately, Scorpion G is not that brave, but let's uh, let it be. He's kind of sitting in the open field here. My main mission here is to find the decent enough angle to punish him and not get punished myself. Beautiful. This is exactly what I was waiting for. And uh, that's how we are packing our... Uh, 1.8 thousand damage it's okay we got this now we need to figure out what will be uh, what will happen next and if i need to guess fellas 
I would say there is a humongous chance this ISM will make a bit of pressure like this. And you know what? I am preparing for this gentleman. Actually, he's kind of down to fartable, so maybe he won't get involved. Let's see. There is still a couple of the tank destroyers never, never being spotted, but it's okay. We are chilling and we are feeling relatively well. I know exactly how I want to play this at this point. Yes, we are losing a lot of guns. Yes, it is not looking ideal, but I don't really think we are still in that big of the trouble, if you know what I mean. Now, Super Conqueror should arrive here. I want to believe the Super Conqueror is going to be, uh, to be able to pick here in no time whatsoever. I am reading you like open book, my man. Oh, my bananas. Bad trade. Even though I have auto loader, that is a bad trade. Quite a bit of the greediness from my side, but what can you do? We did everything properly. We read him well, but um, sometimes it is just not meant to be. And if it is not meant to be, it's not meant to be. What can you do? Okay, our guy is reloading. I can see him. Centurion in the open field. Let's go. That would be one. That would be two. And that would be three. This is a good trade because we are just giving and we are not taking a single shot. Which is absolutely amazing. And now we can see the STB moving through the open field and Schmutz in the back. Doesn't really change anything. I am still feeling very, very, very well here. But skill, how you can feel well if your team is melting so uh, quickly? Well, you are correct about this, but what we need to keep in mind that not every game is winnable and um, you just simply cannot have 100% win ratio, right? Whenever the game is 15 against 15, a stronger team will win, a stronger team will move in front, and weaker team will take one for the team. Which is very, very fair, and it is all right, in my humble opinion, right? We managed to farm 4.1 thousand already, that is fine, and we still have a chance to maybe do one more mag. Maybe, if I'm going to be lucky. Hopes are melting. I repeat, hopes are definitely melting at this point. That would be one, that would be two, that would be three. Excellent, very, very good, very, very, very good, and it's a matter of the time whenever Arta will kill us. We, have, we are sitting on our 5,000, and once again, we are feeling very, very, very well with all of this. At least I am. I can tell you one thing, I'm not feeling like I played this game badly by any shape or any form, right? Uh, and this is what is so powerful about the Škoda T50, right? You are reloading quickly, 20 seconds for magazine is not that long time, especially in the tier uh, 9, tier 10, right? It is quick. That burst fire, someone made a mistake, you're ba, 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 ba. You are able to clap them like there is no tomorrow, and as you can see, even with a losing team, we managed to pack a very, very good score. So, let's see the score. Okay, so, after very first game, fellas, we have 5,000 damage, 700 assisting damage. We are comfortably sitting in the number one spot by experience, although we are second by the damage. Oh my bananas, two guys farm at quite a lot and the rest of the team refuse to play. Which happens and that is alright. Meanwhile, we made 4,000 um, profits as well. Uh, and obviously I am paying for the camo directive here, 20,000. Without that it would be a bit better but it is how it is anyways round number two let's go okay for round number two we have a highway standard battle this is going to be quite a journey to make it work but i have a perfect plan or at least i think i have a perfect plan i am going towards the heavy line i will try to take the juliet eight position and from there we will try to spank literally every single mother trucker who is making a mistake i know potentially i could cross through the middle of the field and i could be annoying spotter but i do not really think i should do this to be completely honest with you um the main reason being is it's just um, risk is way way too high Going through the open field to this position, it is just too big of the risk, and I believe that makes sense. But it doesn't change the fact we should be all right. We are going to knock those two trees towards the enemy direction, so we are not going to get outspotted uh, easily by any shape or any form. 
and now we are going to wait patiently. What I could do though, I could craft a good angle here and I could try to spank every single mother trucker who is crossing through the middle of the field if obviously they have any. Right? This is important thing to say. No slower tanks. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't look like... It doesn't look like they have anyone. I might take one for the team from here. And I need to be very, very careful, fellas. And by saying I need to be very careful, I truly mean it. It is very easy to mess up over there. But you know, once again, um, even though enemies have the tank destroyers or triangles or however you would call them, right? It doesn't mean they have a good enough reaction to uh, to react, right? And T-57 here is feeling great. He's playing on the middle of the field uh, and he doesn't give a flying F. Okay, that is an interesting one. So what does tell to me, fellas? Uh, since... Since enemies are not reacting that well, right? I have a feeling they do not have uh, that many forces sniping from the back, right? And if they do not have that many forces sniping in the back or any, we can be a bit more greedy son of the bananas here. That's what I think. Doing damage through the frontal mantlet, not bad. What do you think about this? And now our heavies are making a hardcore pressure. Now, hear me out. How the things are going to look like now we are crossing through the middle of the field. I am very, very well aware of that, that we do not necessarily have support at this point. But in the same time, I'm feeling brave just because no one shot me, right? Since no one shot me, we can say hello for T95. Hi, how are you doing? You are looking gorgeous. Wow, what a quick rotation speed. Not bad, T95. Not bad. I think he's using rotation mechanism and turbo in the same time. At least this is how it was looking like from how fast this mother trucker was turning. And now we are going back to normal. We are saying hello for this gentleman. We are sending him to the garage. Very, very nice. And now I want to see maybe this T-54 will say hello for us. Maybe he wants to play the game. I have two in the magazine. I am feeling very, very well with all of this. And we will see him running away. Also, I know from where Art uh, fired. But now the question is... Can I outspot him? And the answer is definitely yes. Look, I mean, how not to love this tank? We got 3.7 thousand damage. We are still full hit points. And we are enjoying ourselves to the maximum. We are literally having a blast here. Yes, I understand there is a Bob object, um, 263, and overall there is plenty of the meat left on the bone speaking about this game. So now we need to figure out how to approach this meat. That's what we need to figure out. I do not necessarily want to go in front first like this. I just do not think this is a great idea. Plus, on top of that, whenever I am looking into this, ah, uh, he should not cap the base. I was considering maybe he will cap the base, but no, he won't. He should not be able to cap. Listen, at this point, we are making pressure like this. Skill, why are you doing so? Well, even though I'm open for a sniper schnitzels on the field, I have a... Um, what are you doing here, my man? What are you doing? The whole plan of mine is I want to believe that he's more afraid of me than I am afraid of him. Okay, fair enough. What I want to believe, I want to believe that um, this is only one way how we can farm more damage for obvious reasons. I assume this T-54 is sitting either, either over there or either he's on the field. Soon we are going to figure out where exactly he is. Okay. And let's rig brother in arms. Why the heck not? Good. Very, very good. 4.3 thousand damage, 1,000 uh, assisting damage. 
I will spot for you. He is saying, please let me uh, get the damage. I am I am not going to disturb this guy. Uh, I think it's too late, mate. You know what? Uh, I can see I can see this gentleman going for his mark of excellence as much as he physically and possibly can, right? And maybe he will be able to reach enemies in time. Who knows? Tar, 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 tar. You know what? There is only one way how we can finish this. <laughs> Good luck, mate. You got this. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, even though it is not a mark of excellence, but this is uh, this is a solid performance by Waza. This is a solid performance by Waza. By the way, fellas, have you noticed two um, Czechoslovakian brothers, right? Good. <laughs> GG. I am very, very, very happy. Let's see what kind of performance uh, this gentleman has. And now I'm more excited about his game than about my game, to be fair with you. Guys, pleasure to meet you, my man. Okay, let's see. Okay, moment of truth. First of all, thank you and good luck for your mark. That's what we are going to say for this beautiful gentleman. And now, let's see. Score time. We got ourselves first class. We got brother in arms. 4.3 thousand damage. 1.2 thousand assisting damage. I'm feeling very, very great with this. And look at this score. Beautiful game. 4.5 uh, 4 thousand. Oh, absolutely amazing. I am curious now how close he is to get the third mark of excellence. And I believe he will do this, fellas. I believe in this beautiful gentleman. And he is close. I mean, 93%? 93% you are you are lacking a bit of percentage you could you would not be able to get mark of excellence even if you would farm all of them but okay i see what you are doing anyways we made 18000 profits which is very very nice and overall i would rate this uh, game as a great success Let's go for round number three, shall we? Okay, last but not least, Erlenberg Assault. This is kind of rough to get a lot of damage, but we will try to do our best. I don't feel like I want to go into the city, so I think I am going to start everything from the safe position, which would be Hotel 1. This position is awesome because you are punishing people who are making pressure here or who are getting outspotted in Echo 1. I think that's the right way for us to start our game. <clears throat> that's what I want to believe. And after that, obviously, we are flexible, we can go in the city, we can go on the island, we can uh, take this castle, you know, we can do many, many things. And that's the best part of all this. Cheers, fellas. Okay, how we can get use? This is the question. Oh, one, two, three. Beautiful. I think we have at least one blind shot uh, and I am feeling very, very, very well with it. Now, all we need to do, we need to wait until this one fourth will mess up. And mess up, he will. It's a matter of the time in my humble opinion, fellas. He will definitely mess up. In fact, I think I am considering, yeah, I'm going with the hits. For a very first time in this video, fellas, I'm loading the heat clip. Uh, and that being said, it is just showing how beautiful this tank can be even without gold ammunition, if you know what I mean. It is just gorgeous and it is just beautiful. Okay. He is going back now. Or maybe he never goes back. Who knows? One... Two. One forty from the island, that is completely understandable, fellas. I am still feeling very, very great. The thing is, this one forty will melt. All we need to do, we need someone to spot him. And whenever he will get spotted, we are going to farm him like there is no tomorrow, fellas. 
I could go for a blind clip, but I am considering my life choices. Is it actually worth it? Plus, on top of that, I I can count, fellas, and I can see that our team is winning by guns. I can see our team is winning by, by the damage, right? I am very, very well aware of that. So... I'm going to load the standard ammunition and we will try to clip the living crap out of this Mr. Borat. I think that is the correct way to do the things. And now we are saying hello for him. Unfortunate, my man. Wrong call. I know your team is losing. I know your bottom tier. Unfortunate. But you need to go to the garage. Next. I would say the next step for us will be to get involved here. This is going to be the riskiest one, at least in my humble opinion, but it is how it is. Meanwhile, Budget goes through the middle of the field. That's good. That would be one. That would be two. Unfortunately, I missed the shot and I went on the reload. But to be fair with you, I cannot do absolutely anything for that, Mr. Tortoise, so I am feeling quite all right. Let's chill and let's wait. Or maybe I have an angle for this tortoise. I think I do have an angle. Okay, hit on. Over the long distance to penetrate, tortoise is very, very, very hard, okay? To say that the least. It's, it's brutal. So, I want to be prepared. If this gentleman is getting spotted... By our team, we are just heating, we are grilling his shell. That's what we are doing, fellas. Okay. It is not an easy angle by any shape or any form, but let's try to punish him. Very, very, very complicated shots here. Extremely complicated shots. Udes, if I will go on the open field... I can clip the living crap out of this guy, who is not spotted. Object is not spotted. Okay, at this point I am a bit closer. That being said, I think I should be able to... ...to punish him. Very, very hard to penetrate our toys. Skill, you are shooting hits. Absolutely, yes, I do shoot hits. You are 100% correct. But I think there is a moment when you need to do that. Tortoise killed this guy. And now we are clipping the living crap out of the Sudas. That would be one. That would be two. And now aiming for Tortoise. 140 relocated. And he is sitting right there. 140. We are just giving information for our team where 140 is. Right? Okay. That's good. That's very, very good. Now we are going in. Ooh. Look, this game is kind of interesting. By the way, I throw all of this uh, uh, heat through the window. This heat was uh, so far extremely, extremely useless for us. Which is quite sad, but that's the reality. What do you want me to say? Actually, you know what? I changed my mind. I do not really want to play here anymore. What I want to do, I want to make pressure for the guy sitting here. Uh, and I do not want to get outspotted by this one for the sitting in this area. So what am I going to do? I am paying attention at this 140. And in the same time, I'm trying to figure out how we can um, approach the enemies without getting spotted ourselves, right? I know there is still a bit of the hit points left, and so far, our score is looking uh, uh, quite poor, if you would ask me. Not very impressed with the score, but once again, we still have time. 140 farm at our lion, and for a very first time in this game, we are in deficit speaking about the hit points. Ooh. Very interesting. And enemies need to defend the base. So they are chilling, you know? They really do not mind about this situation. You know, they have time. That's what I'm saying. Okay, soon we will figure out where this um, Hawk 30 is. Now, if I am going to get spotted here, there is a big chance that Hawk is sitting right there. 
As you can see, I am not spotted. Oi, 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 this one forty. What a hard game. Oh, what a hard game. How to dig this one forty from there? How to dig this 140? What an annoying son of the banana. By the way, I have a feeling this uh, this tank destroyer is sitting here. Absolutely. Yes, he does. We are going to spank him once, spank him twice, spank him three times. Beautiful. And there is still plenty of the enemies alive. Okay, our object is making as much pressure as he physically and possibly can. And now what is happening in my baboonish head, I am thinking about going a bit more in front and uh, spotting the guy sitting here, right? That's what I am planning to do and that's what I am aiming for. Udes in the open field, beautiful. Udes is officially dead. Now this gentleman, unfortunately I derped my shot, but that is okay. If this guy is going to go full bananas for us, I think we are uh, feeling quite alright and we do not need to uh, panic that much, right? Plus on top of that, this minute might not look so great on the clock, but in reality we are feeling very, very, very well. Plus... I can see he's looking at me, but you know what? Truth to be told, I just don't care. Yep, here you go. Unfortunate, my man. I can see you. One more extra shot and we are done with a flawless victory. By saying flawless, I missed like 20 shots, but let's pretend it doesn't ha It never happened, okay? It's between me and you. Simple as this. Beautiful. Uh... The last game was the hardest because uh, that one fort took such a beautiful position. He was truly annoying for us. Uh, he had support from object and I think he is responsible with uh, a lot of assisting damage. At least that's what I want to believe. Let's see. 4 kills, 4.3 thousand damage, 200 assisting damage. It's okay. We are first by experience. We are first by the damage. So if I'm not mistaken, we finished all games first by experience and most of them first by the uh, damage as well, right? Meanwhile, yeah, accuracy was disgusting, but hits did not pay off. What can I say? Hashtag never lucky. All and all, 140. Great play. Look at this. 3.5 thousand damage, 3.1 thousand assisting damage. Excellent. And he had quite a lot of support of this op. Object. In fact, all pretty much all of his assisting damage when, uh, was from the object. So very, very, very good play overall. We lost 58,000 credits, which is not ideal, but that's what we have. And overall, I think our session was solid banana out of 10. Yeah, I mean, it's one of my favorite tanks. What do you want me to say? Uh, 4.5 thousand damage. 700 assisting damage. I think we did everything well and uh, I think we went quite in depth what is happening in our head whenever we are playing Skoda and I think we, um, we are talking uh, our thoughts out loud. Anyways, I hope you had a great time. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Thank you very much for watching and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.